as you come down the ring road, I think you do see the particular identity of the nano component of the building with its molecular structure, its exoskeleton, and then the Institute for Quantum Computing, which is more like a research institute. In real life, you can see that although the buildings work very well, to, the, I'll call them the buildings, the halves of the buildings work very well together, they have very clear identities. And uh, architecturally, we always struggle with how you articulate an idea. So the idea of superposition, reflectivity, opacity, almost contradicting itself. For us, it was about how the glass worked, ideas of reflectivity, transparency, translucency. It was kind of the zero, the one, or both simultaneously. It sort of changed, right? And it reflected the sky and the world around it. the windows can operate and so that it actually can breathe you see the building breathing and you know can change its dynamic I mean if there is a redeeming feature to the campus of Waterloo it's the series of courtyards so this was an opportunity to, to create courtyards within the larger system of courtyards this building is very clearly positioned within the university campus how successfully it remakes the rock garden which was never quite as well defined we looked at every edge of the building to see how it would fit within the campus. And then I think you have your own trajectory as a student or as a research person coming to work on a day-to-day -day basis.